Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I wanted to share a very relaxing, calming disinfect with me and share some places that you're probably forgetting to clean and disinfect. So I'm going to start heading outside. But first I wanted to show you the products that I'm going to be using in today's video. So if you can't find disinfectant wipes, I know they are very hard to come by. You can always grab your Jaws disinfectant cleaner. Um, they are still selling it online and can ship to you. This is not sponsored. That's just only if you need something to clean your house for your family. I'm going to leave their link and promo code down below in my description box. But like I said, I'm not trying to sell you something. I'm just letting you know that is still available on their website if you need it. But like I said, I'm heading outside. One of the areas we forget to disinfect is our mailboxes. So we're touching that handle. Our mailman's touching that handle. So it's just another place to go ahead and do it once a day, once a week, whatever you're comfortable with. But I'm going to get mine nice and clean for not only me, but my postman. You get what you're giving, but it's never too late to spread your wings. wings. Oh, I know that we will make it through the storm. Cause you and me been fighting since we were born. It's all over. Okay, now I'm gonna head back inside and go into my laundry room. This is an area that a lot of things are getting touched on a daily basis, so I'm going to start by sharing some of them. Let's start by cleaning off all the knobs because we touch those every time we run a load in the washer or dryer. I'm touching the cabinet knobs, even like the doors that you lift open. All those spaces we're probably touching more than once a day. Our kids may be touching it if they're helping us with their home, so definitely don't forget about those spots. Another area that we can work on are like our vacuum, the handles that you're holding it. You know, if you have a cordless one or not, definitely wipe those down. All of our mop handles, the brooms, dust pans, dusters, anything like that, go ahead and take a few moments. They're probably all together in the closet or in the garage or hanging up together. Just take a wipe and go ahead and wipe those down quickly so you know they've been touched. Another thing that's good to clean is our laundry hampers. Um, this is just another good like spring cleaning thing that should get done no matter what, but definitely those handles where you're holding it. I went ahead and did it even in the bottom where clothes are sitting. Typically only clean clothes is going in this, but it's just smart to go ahead and wipe it down. So when I finish wiping down this one, I'm going to go ahead and go into our master closet because we have another hamper in there and I'm going to work on that one as well. We were young and running free. We were never meant to be, but I could not see you go. Cause of you. Okay, ladies, another area that we cannot forget about is our purses. If we've been out at all, if you're still going out, the bottom of those purses get sat everywhere. If it's on tables, on floors, I always try to hang mine on chairs so it's not actually like sitting on the floor. But just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off all my handles. So if it's bumped into anything, I'm gonna clean off the bottom of it. Once again, I'm still just using those wipes. I'm gonna clean off the handles because when I've opened up a door, even though I'm being careful, I'm still touching those straps. Let's also work on our wallets. Um, I didn't show me doing my credit cards, but if you're pulling out your credit cards or gift cards, or whatever you have inside your wallet, definitely unzip it and clean those as well. I went in through Chase's wallet and cleaned out his wallet and his cards. Do your lipsticks. Um, this is, you know, your sunglasses. Don't worry that case. Those aren't Louis Vuitton. My grandma gave me that um, sunglass holder. So those are just from Ross. But definitely wipe down all those things that you touch when you're out and about. Just go through your purse and make sure everything that's in there has been sanitized because I think that's an area we seem to always forget. 
Okay, whether you work at home or in an office, definitely take those wipes with you wherever you are. Wipe down your mouse, wipe down your keypad, wipe down, you know, your desk area, wherever you're touching, if you have bowls on them. Definitely, if you work in a public place, do this. Even if you're at home, you're still touching it a lot. I'm also gonna pull out my chair and like the handles on it or the armrest, I'm gonna wipe those down. So just think about all those areas. Your pens and pencils is another one if you're using the same one over and over even if you're not go ahead and pull those out so those get disinfected um, I'm gonna go to the other side of my desk I use scissors a lot in here so I want to disinfect those and then any of your chargers so if this is your phone chargers I have chargers for like my mouse and keypad anything like that that you're touching on a daily basis go ahead and wipe it down I will love you in the dark and now I'm gonna wipe down our alarm code right there by the back door, our back door handle, and then all my dry erase markers. I use these a lot planning, so I'm gonna get those disinfected as well. Now I'm gonna grab my jaws. Be sure and read the back um, of the directions, no matter what you're using, to see how long it needs to sit. When you're using a disinfectant spray, it normally has to sit a while before you um, can wipe it up. Jaws happens to be 10 minutes, so go ahead and get that spraying, and then you can work on something else and go back to it later, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, I went ahead and grabbed my seventh generation. I'd bought this a few weeks ago. I don't know that it's as strong as Lysol, but it's still better than nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spray all of our pillows and cushions those are things I can't really wipe down with wipes and Savannah has kind of had a runny nose and a cough so I'm gonna go ahead and just spray items that I can't really deep clean or disinfect today and it definitely makes me feel better it seems to be working um, dining room chairs is another one think of how you pull it out so think about where you put your hands when you pull it try to spray those areas obviously if you don't have like upholstered you could actually disinfect them with wipes but these are upholstered so I'm gonna do the best I can which is just with like a Lysol spray so that these can be disinfected as well. I'm gonna clean this workstation just like I did mine. I'm just working on mouse pads, keypads, pens, pencils, everything that's being touched over here on a daily basis. Okay, now we're gonna move on to phones and keys. These are probably disgusting. They're with us everywhere we go. We're touching them a lot. So definitely take the time to grab those wipes often, especially with your phones. I'm cleaning it every time we get home from going somewhere. Um, I know a lot of us aren't getting out as much now, but definitely just take the time to clean those even when viruses aren't going around. It's just smart to get them clean and go ahead and wipe down your keys as well. Now it's been 10 minutes or even a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna go back in with a rag and wipe down all those places that I sprayed earlier. I 
forgot to spray these remotes when I was spraying the jaws and it's probably best to go ahead and just use a Lysol wipe on these just because I don't want a lot of liquid sitting on them. So I went ahead and grabbed just a little Clorox wipe so I can get these disinfected. They're remotes. I know you guys probably thought of it. I just didn't want to forget about it while I was cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe these off and then put them back in the drawer. Okay, another area we don't want to forget about, even if you're just spring cleaning, is definitely don't forget to wipe down your thermostat occasionally throughout the year. I feel like they get touched a lot, or maybe that's just me. I feel like I'm touching that thing all day long, going up and down, up and down. I can never find the right setting. And then I'm going to head into the bathrooms and work on a few areas in there. Definitely make sure you're getting all the handles and faucets. The hand soaps are being touched. I'm even going to work on like the paper towel holder. You're going to see me open up the shower curtain. I'm going to wipe that faucet as well. You could do shampoo bottles, your razors. A lot of this stuff we never sanitize or disinfect. So this just is a good time while you're stuck at home to go ahead and get it done. Then I'm going to head back into my kitchen, grab a few more wipes, and then I'm going to head into Chase's bathroom and do everything in his bathroom that I just did to mine. Could have been you. What a crime and what a shame to let go. Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face but it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I I think wands from our blinds is another great place to clean. I think we forget to disinfect those. You may have the strings, you may have the wand. Also like the little clicker on lamps, you can go ahead and clean all those to get it disinfected. Your alarm clock, Chase actually still has alarm clock. He does his phone and alarm clock. I thought that was funny. I'm doing the remotes here in our bedroom. Even the books that you know we're looking at at night, we're touching. I'm just gonna go ahead and give those a once over because it's gonna help me sleep better just knowing all of this is done. On my way out, I'm gonna go ahead and do our doorknobs, light switches. I'm just trying to wipe down everything that's getting touched on a daily basis. No matter the time of year or what's going on in the world, when we get home from being gone, we always like to come straight into the kitchen and wash our hands. Each one of us do that. I think it just helps you from getting sick all the time. So I do like to disinfect all of this stuff just because it gets touched probably the most with the most amount of germs. So this is an area I work on a lot and just wanted to share that with you guys just in case you wanted to work on yours as well. Now I'm gonna head into Savannah's playroom. This is an area that is kind of overwhelming for me to disinfect, but it needs to get done. As far as her little futon and pillows in there, I'm just doing the spray. So just, you know, do whatever you can do. Um, for all her toys, I'm actually gonna use the disinfectant wipes. I'm not gonna lie, for a parent, this is kind of overwhelming. We know they have a lot of toys. If you wanna spray it and have like a better spray in your home, definitely do that. Something is better than nothing, but we always have a lot of kids that play in our house and it's been a long time since I've like disinfected her toys so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a wipe and try to wipe down every piece that's possible um, within this room so I'm gonna work on her dollhouse I did a lot more than I like showed I worked on her dolls I did some other areas but just to get the idea I am wiping down toys because that is an area we tend to forget or put off Hold him 
Okay, now I'm gonna head into Savannah's bathroom and pretty much clean it the exact same way that I did um, my bathroom and Chase's bathroom. There's a few areas I'm gonna work on here, so go ahead and stay tuned. But try to freshen up your hand towels as best as you can. Keep paper towels out. I know most of us aren't having company over at this point, so it's just basically keeping all of us healthy that's inside this house. Um, another tip is to clean your trash cans. Um, this is just another good spring cleaning tip. Sometimes it just needs to get done, but especially right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get it disinfected. You could do this with your kitchen trashes, your bedroom trashes. Just kind of go throughout the house and get those nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands just because I have been touching so many items and the disinfecting wipes and then I'm gonna head into the kitchen to work on that area. To disinfect my kitchen countertops, I like to use my Jaws cleaner, so I'm gonna grab that again, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray all of them down so that I can be letting it sit for 10 minutes before I wipe it up. I'm also gonna take that same cleaner and go ahead and do my kitchen table as well. Since we go eat a lot of food and preparing in here, I like to just make sure these areas are extra disinfected and extra clean. Um, it's been a while since I worked on these shutters, so I wanted just to go ahead and spray those while I'm cleaning and disinfecting. I already have everything out. So while I'm waiting for that to sit for 10 minutes, I'm gonna head into my living room and just kind of do a quick tidy up, just kind of fluff up the pillows, fix the blanket, and then and I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the floors in here just because I'm trying to kill time and I might as well get my space nice and clean while I'm waiting to do that. By the time I finished picking up and vacuuming, it was time to go ahead and wipe down my table and countertops. It had been over 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that same rag, but I do like to just fold it a different direction so that I'm using a new clean side. And I'm gonna wipe down my table so that it's not wet. And then I'm gonna wipe down my shutters and then I'm gonna do my countertops as well.
Okay, do not click off yet because I've still got some to share with you guys. I was a powerhouse this night. I think I disinfected everything, but another area you might be forgetting is your salt and pepper shaker. So I forget to do this a lot. And when our guests are over, these are getting touched all the time. So nobody's been in my house recently, but I can't tell you the last time I disinfected them. Even your like seasoning or salt, anything that you're touching a lot and grabbing, it's just smart to go ahead and wipe it down. And then I have another area for you so don't click off yet. Okay, ladies, so one more area that we need to remember is everything we use to get ready. So I have my curling wand, I have a straightener, a blow dryer, even think about how much you touch your like makeup brushes. I'm going to show me using like my dry shampoo and disinfecting that, hair brushes, lotions, deodorants. Think about all that stuff that we touch every single morning, but how often do you clean it? Because I know I don't clean it often, and even if I clean it, I don't disinfect it. I even disinfected like my hair clips, my chapsticks. So definitely just start thinking outside the box and on things you're touching but haven't disinfected in a while. I'm gonna be there whenever you win or if you fall. So when I started this video, it was bright outside and by the time I finished, it was pitch black. It's hard to tell because my camera has a setting to make it not look so dark out. There's my boys keeping me safe, but I kind of wanted to show you just around my house, all the areas we got to disinfect together and just clean together. I also wanted to just let you know, like don't panic, don't rush. This can get done over weeks, over days. It doesn't have to get done in 30 minutes. Just write a few areas down and get them done every day. Definitely just love on your family. Spend this time with them. Take this as a blessing. If you're looking for the negative, you're going to find it. But if you're looking for the good, you're going to find that as well. Um, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys just for so much love and support. I'm praying so much over you guys. So much goodness. And I ask that you do the same for us. And we're going to get through this. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.